guess what I did? Come on, guess. Guess. Ready? Yes, it's almost exactly like it was before. I did leave a few things. The sofa's back in front of the window. One end table there. I did move the one vintage cabinet. I mean, I moved it before, so I just left it there for now. It was in front of this window, and it may go back, you never know. And then, remember I had the white chair, this chair right here? I did have it in the corner behind me, and I liked it in the corner, but that's the only thing I did like. The love seat was on the angled wall right there. This is from the very beginning, remember? Well, I just decided to put it on that wall to keep from moving that cabinet too, because that cabinet was also in front of this other window on the left side of the fireplace. So we don't have a TV in here now. That was just here temporarily for the winter because we like to burn the fireplace and sit in front of the fireplace and, and watch TV. And so we took that out. But everything is almost 100% the way it was before and I'm not surprised that I've done this because I didn't like it. And that's what I do. I just think it's easier to go ahead and try it instead of wondering. So now that I've tried it, it's gonna stay this way. I don't know if I'll leave those cabinets there, that one. And this one, I may, I may not. But for now, those are okay. But I've got my big open floor back. I've got the open entryway from the foyer. And I've got my open, open wall into my dining room, which is something I told you that I like. Okay, well, how long do you think I'll leave it this way? Like I said, I may come back in here. It's hard to move those sofas. They're really hard to move, even on this floor. I mean, they're just hard to move. So I did it myself and I'm a little tired. So I'm not gonna move anything else. But I thought I might show you some of the things that are in these cabinets. I tried the other day, but my sound wasn't working. So I wasn't able to. And I think I'm gonna test the sound now and see if it's working. Okay, it seems like the sound's working, so I'm gonna show you a few things. Okay, these cabinets, I believe I told you, they were, they came out of Scott's parents' house, and they used to be full of cameras because it is a photography-related business and family. All these things in here are from Scott's family. There might be one or two things in here, I think, that's mine, but most of this is his his family right here and I'm gonna open it up we have Bibles and there's something that's very special to me and it's right here grace before Mills that was his Nemo's book and he said he thought he remembered it sitting on their table but I looked inside and it's got some things she wrote down it's got all kinds of numbers and things you know people just used to write and do their maybe their grocery budget or something but see like right here on april 21st 1935 it said that Abby died and that was scott's um grandfather the one that he's named after and that's just really neat how that is written down there. And then there's other things written in some of these pages. Hard to see right now. Here's this one up here. Let's see what this says. Um, see if I can see. A 
I believe this was his brother's and Leslie's wedding, I think. I'm not sure. No, that's not it, because this is 1954. That's not when that would have been. Okay, I won't even worry about that right now because I can't read it. don't have my glasses on. But anyway, it's just a really special book to me. I can't imagine not keeping that in the family, but who knows where it'll go after we we are gone. I'll put it back in here, but there's Bibles, all these Bibles. Let me see if this little New Testament, whose this was. See if I can see it without my glasses. Okay. Marvin Mitchell. That's Scott's grandfather that he knew. Abby was his um, natural grandfather, but he passed away. And then Marvin married his grandmother, and that's who his grandfather was. And that's this is his this is his Bible. Wow. Received it in 1942, it looks like. That's really nice to have. I love it. There's just so many little things written down. And I that's just kind of neat to me, the things that they wrote down. And, and okay. His mother, Scott's mother, made this. No, she didn't make the mug. But she made a clay statue of this man. I don't know who he is. Don't know what the story is. But they had some of the pictures put on the mugs and I thought that was neat because we don't have the mug, the the statue but we've got the mug a mug there were three children so others may have some of them I'm not sure and she also that's a rock and she painted it into an owl and I think that is so cool and then I have right here some diaries that belong to his mother which are just so neat to read so neat and then I believe these were his grandfather's I'm not he's not in here for me to ask but it's the I guess a poker set is that what that is see I know nothing about things like that it's not very clear is it I don't know if I can get it any better well maybe you can see it but it's a poker set and it's kind of neat. I mean, I'm not into poker, never have been, never will be, but I just think it's neat because it was theirs and it's it's old. And then these are his mother's yearbooks. And I think those are so neat. The camera, I'm not sure who that belonged to. One of the family, I'm not sure who because they were all photographers. The rocks I painted. I don't do much of that, but I do enjoy it. And that's my favorite one with the tree right there. I just think that's cool. Okay, let's see what else we have. All right, let's see. Where is something else that I can show you that... Okay, I don't know. I don't know that I have anything much else in here. I think I might have told you that this coffee table... And the end, there's two end tables, only one in here right now because of the way things are arranged. Those were given to his parents for their wedding by, by his grandparents. They told them they would give them a wedding or furniture, and they chose furniture. And I am so thankful to have this set. This and the two end tables, they're beautiful. They're scratched up. They're well-loved, and I just love them that much more because of that. Okay, let's see what's over here. These are things that are special to me, most of them anyway, not all of them. If you can see the rooster, and there's one right beside it on each side, those were given to me by some of my friends that I made at the beauty salon. Some of the customers that I became friends with gave me those for my birthday. This is, I need to open this. Okay, this is a little tea set. Let's see if I can get it clear. I don't know. I'm using a phone, so I don't know. I hope it's clear enough you can see. It's a Magnolia set. And 
by that I mean it's got magnolias on it. It's not from the Magnolia Company. Um, one of my friends that passed away last year, or the year before, I can't remember now, she worked in my salon. She was a nail tech. She's the one that taught me how to do nails. And the name of my salon was still Magnolia's. And she was always giving me things that had magnolias on it. And this is something that I cherish. And I'm so appreciative of it. And right here is a little stuffed cow that my daughter got me when she was in, I believe it was either middle school or high school. They had a field trip and they went to a place, seems like it was called Westville, Georgia or something like that. It was like a plantation. And she got me that, and she also got me the little chair that he's sitting that she's sitting in. They did not go together, but she got it for me, and I decided to put them together. Then I have this little turtle. I'm going to put it up here where we can see it better. This little turtle is from the Bahamas. My daughter and her family. No, I don't think the kids went. I think just my daughter and her husband went and they brought that back to me. I'm not 100% sure about that. I can't remember. I can't remember if they went or not. And this bell, and I've always collected bells. I haven't in a long time, but my mother gave me this bell to go with my blue and white in my dining room. But I spread my blue and white out a little bit I love that bell, and it's special because it was from my mother, and I lost my mother in 2020. And let's see, let me close this back. Okay, in the dining room in my china cabinet, um, it has blue willow, and it was my grandmother's. And I always wanted it, but you know, she had a lot of granddaughters and she couldn't give it to just all of them. And I don't know how I got it, but I'm thankful. I love it. And it's the reason that I bought this beautiful, and to me it's a beautiful china cabinet. I bought it, oh, probably 20 years ago. It's one of my favorite pieces of furniture that I bought. But I love my blue willow, and I've got other pieces in there, too. And my, my daughter-in-law gave me some plates one year for Christmas, extra plates, because we didn't have enough for the whole family. And now I don't have enough for the whole family, but you know what? The whole family doesn't get together. Sadly, I don't see a lot of them very much at all. But anyway, I love the blue willow. Love, love, love the blue willow. And this right here... That little bowl, it's a bowl, I just got it turned sideways. It is from my mother. So pretty. My husband bought me this. I think it was from Harbor, not Harbor Freight. Um, I think it was called Grand Harbor. And I love it. And this was my grandmother. She had it hanging over her kitchen table. And I absolutely adore it. All right, let's see what else I have in here that might be, oh. Oh, I've got my tripod over here. Um, sorry about that. Um, these blue and white plates, all the ones over here, are just from like Goodwill and thrift stores, just, just because of the colors. I just love them though. This rooster came from my daughter-in-law that lives in Indiana. I love that rooster. I think he's so cute. And, all right, this bowl and this bowl is very old. They belong to my mother-in-law, my children's grandmother. Um, I'm so happy that she gave them to me and I'm so happy that I have them. I gave a lot of the things that belonged to her to my daughter, but most, I guess I kept a lot of it. The green pumpkin. Do you not love this green pumpkin? Isn't it beautiful? My daughter gave me that for um, Thanksgiving one year. 
or for the fall season. She's always giving me something. And I absolutely love it. And I won't put it away because I like it so much. I'm keeping it out. And it actually looks really pretty with that bowl. Even though everything in here is mostly blue and white. But anyway, I like it anyway. Here is a postage. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. A postage scale that went in that was in Scott's um, family business for years to figure out the postage on packages that pictures and things that they sent and I just have it sitting there I just love it then I have this beautiful beautiful cake plate that's painted hand painted got it out of a thrift store actually it was in an antique store my husband and I bought it at Christmas time for his stepmother and sadly she's gone now but I got that back and it's special mainly because it belonged to her and we bought it for her and my mother gave me that little teapot and this cute little I don't know I call it a trinket bowl and she gave me this bowl and I love it one of my friends from church made this beautiful wreath and it it was the inspiration for my entire room, other than the blue willow that I have in my china cabinet. I decided to start doing everything in here blue and white. And I'm, I'm getting there. I'm probably not going to paint because I like this color and it goes well. But anyway, I really like that wreath. And let me see if there's anything else in here. These are just little teapots and every one of them was given to me by someone someone special so they're all very special to me and they're sitting on this chopping block that my ex-husband made for me years and years ago and I absolutely love it there's not really room in my kitchen for it so I just use it mainly to put my rooster on my table's a little cluttered right now because I've been moving things around and I haven't put them where they belong but this rooster actually came from Cracker Barrel but I love it. I love it. Don't need someone to save me. No. And don't come running and blame me. From miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pause. When you talk, I think you said enough You said you'd love for me something brand new You said this is something you would never do Here we are in your car, let me see who you are Who you really are, are yeah Don't need you here to say you're sorry Cause if you're gonna leave me then
struggle I know you've had some pain I know you're feeling tired Held down by all the weight Yeah, I know you're feeling lonely Your smile ain't the same I saw you where to go from here I feel like you've lost your way Don't give up, no, don't 